What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. This video here, we got this uh, OBS 7.3 that is not running the best. So we got our tools out, got our diagnostics going. So let's uh, get into her. All right, so first things first, we scanned it for codes, found some IDM codes in it, and that's about it. So we came over to the scanner, ran an injector buzz test, and that's what we found. P1271 and a P1289. Injector one and an IDM fault. So that cylinder one code, so that cylinder one code could be a bad connection um, or something like that inside. So to find cylinder one, um, I just have this apart for videoing purposes. This is the left bank, which is two, four, six, eight. Cylinder one is on the other side of the engine. So that is one, three, five, seven. So cylinder one is on the far bank there. Um, to diagnose the wiring on it, we came to our IDM, which is located right here, bolted to this inner fender um, down here. So we took the bolts out for that, got the harness out. So I thought it'd be easier to show everybody or show you on the uh, computer the pinouts on it so I can zoom in better and do all that. So we can see here, we have our fuel injector feed right and fuel injector feed left. So what that is, is a common power wire that runs down to each, uh, each head. So right is the right bank, left is the left bank. So left side, right side of the engine. On the left side, you have two, six, eight and four and on the right side you have one five seven and three so the way this module works is that this feed branches off to each injector see right here on the feed left there's a splice right here so that sends power to six and eight and then the rest of the wire sends power to two and four. And same deal with the feed right, which is an orange wire. It branches off and goes to one and three and five and seven. So it sends a common feed to each, uh, each side of the, the head and then it branches off. And the injectors are ground controlled. So when it wants to fire, say, injector one, the IDM will ground the other side of the solenoid and make the injector fire. So that's how it all works. So if you're wanting to check resistance and everything in the injectors, say you want to check number two, that you'll have to put an ohm meter or a multimeter set to ohms from pin 23 to pin 22. So 23 to 22, which is this pink, yellow, and white. And that will check the resistance of injector two. And if you want to do pin four, you go pin, or injector four, you go pin 23 to pin seven. And that's number four, and then eight is number 23, and number nine, six is number 19, and number 23, and then two we already did. So then if you want to check the right side, you stick your one lead in pin 24 and then check um, pin six, that's injector one, pin eight, that's injector five, pin 20, that's injector seven, and pin 21 is injector three. So that is how you ohm out everything for the injectors going right from the IDM harness. Now, normal spec is two to five ohms on the injector. So if you have anything above that or below that, you have a problem. 
And if you don't have good ohms here, then there's gonna be a problem with either one of these splices or the connector at the valve cover because it has a harness that runs through the valve cover or it could be solenoid on an injector itself. So hopefully that helps a little bit better with understanding the IDM and how it works. So what I did was I took the signal for injector one and injector three and flipped them. So that injector one was going to injector three and injector three was going to injector one and then ran the buzz test again. And again, I still got IDM, co IDM module fault and cylinder one. So that tells me that there is something wrong with this IDM. This IDM, no good. And you can see back here, she's got some corrosion and the plug is gone. That uh, it goes in there. So this unit here, no good. So we ordered a reman unit from Flagship One. It took a little while to get here, but uh, it is finally here. So here she is. And where is it? That is the part number on this one. Uh, Flagship One's been a decent company to deal with. Uh, their shipping and stuff is a little, a little slow, but um, I haven't had a problem with any of the modules I bought from them. I bought Cummins ECMs. Uh, you know, I bought these IDMs and I bought different things from them and they've all worked. They've all worked good. So right now I'm going to get this old IDM out of here and plug the new one in and run my buzz test again. You don't want to tighten that bolt too tight because they are just like brass threads in there. So you can easily rip them out. So now that we got that installed, we're gonna come back over to the scanner and clear the codes out and then rerun our injector buzz test and see what we got. First, we're gonna clear out anything that's in there. Just cause I've had the key on and everything with um, stuff unplugged. We're on to functionality tests. Injector buzz test. I don't know if you can hear them, but you can hear the injectors snapping. And now it's running through each individual one. And then bam, right there, system pass. So we should be in business. Now I'm not gonna start it until I have that valve cover on and everything. I also have to put the turbo inlet pipe and everything back in and the air filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff back in and then this baby should be good to go. All right guys, so we got those codes all cleared up. Uh, the IDM's working great. The truck was sitting for about 10 years before the customer bought it. And so the injectors have some stiction and just some issues like that. Uh, so we got some arc oil and doing an oil change and changing the underhood valve cover gaskets because they're the connectors are all full of oil and some of the pins did have a little bit of brown on it so it could have arced out in the connector and took out the IDM so we just got to make sure that there's no more issues with this thing and it should run should run great for the customer. So hopefully that helped you with diagnosing your IDM and you found these pinouts helpful. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.